Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 52 in the Microsoft Visual Basic.net program tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover how to use the cookie container in the HTTP web request. Okay so um, I'd like to just start this tutorial out by saying um, about like 10 minutes ago I officially became accepted as a YouTube partner so now I'll be able to do stuff like um, put a banner on my page and um, put ads on my videos which um, if you find that annoying then just unsubscribe whatever if you can't deal with some ads but um, also like I'm gonna ask YouTube if they can bump my l limit up to like 30 minutes or something for when I cover like sockets and stuff but um, yeah I'm pretty happy about that so thanks for everybody who's subscribed because I'm at like 1200 subscribers or something like that now and that's pretty incredible um, I didn't really expect the channel to become this popular, but you know I'm taking it much more seriously now. Um, I'm gonna be doing more languages and stuff, whatever. But I won't bore you with that now. Okay, so um, as I said, this tutorial we're going to cover the cookie container. And to understand this tutorial, you it is a must that you you have watched tutorial number 51. So if you've not um, covered tutorial number 51, then click um, should be around here for an annotation. Um, the annotation will link to t tutorial number 51. It's pretty long, but um, it's really useful. It covers how to use the post method in a HTTP web request. So um, I'm using the project straight from that tutorial, so you're not going to understand the thing that's going on if you don't watch it. So, you know, this is your last chance. Click the annotation and watch it. Um, if you've watched it, then please open up your project. You're going to need it this will be like either the forum that we used or your own website that you use to send the post request to um, so yeah let's continue in this tutorial we're going to cover the cookie container and that's because a lot of people um, messaged me they were like um, hello I followed your tutorial it worked perfectly but then I tried to view another page on a website and it said we're not logged in well that's because your new HTTP web request was not using um, the same cookie container. Now, if you don't know what a cookie is, then you m must be pretty um, blind to, or you've never, you haven't really used a computer much. Um, it's not the cookie that you eat. It's, it's basically a piece of information that your web browser stores. Like, um, it's used for, like authentication on websites or for saving preferences. Like, um, if you ever went to a forum, this is an example of authentication and preferences. If you've went to a forum and then you've logged in and then you've closed the web page but then you reopen it and then you're still logged in that is because you, your web browser saved a cookie after you logged in well the actual web server sent that cookie to you if that makes any sense and you saved the information saying yep yeah, this user has logged in his username is this this is his session whatever and that's for authentication and for preferences if you have into a forum and it's you've selected a custom theme at the bottom like um, a blue theme or a red theme on a forum whatever and then you've re you've closed the page opened it up again and the theme has been saved that is also an example of using cookies well that is exactly what we need to do here because let's say we log into a website and then we want to navigate to another page we need that cookie that says, yeah, this user has logged in. Um, this is his username. He can access all these areas and stuff like that. So I'm just going to simply show you how to use a cookie container. Um, it's not very hard. It's actually really easy. I could have just done it in the other tutorial, but I didn't want to make it any longer than it already was. So, um, yeah, let's continue. Alright, so um, you're going to need your old project, which is when we logged into the Zybez forum which is RuneScape community if anyone remembers that some of you may have used your own forum some of you may have used Zybez but um, I had an account called Teach Me Computer on the forum and surprisingly after like 1500 views nobody has changed the password yet which is um, it's pretty good it's pretty impressive but a lot of people went on and um, you know changed my status and done some posts and stuff but you know I don't mind that so I'm going to use this account on this forum for to demonstrate today but you can create one or you should already have one from the previous tutorial or you can use another website it's up to you 
Okay, so we have our code right here, and let's just test that it still works. I hope it does anyway. Teach me computer was username, and password was the password. Let's make a request. Get the response and C code. And um, yeah, you can see it has logged in right here. So we now know that that works. Okay, so if we go to make request and go down, where is it? Postrec.cookie container equals temp cookies. Right here, we're setting the cookie container of this HTTP web request called postrec that we declared up here. Now that's basically all that we need to do when we create our other request. But what we need to do is set our cookie container to our global cookie container, which up here is login cookie. Now, if you remember down here, we set um, login cookie to the value of temp cookies, um, which is you know saying that we've logged in. So that this cookie here right now knows that we have logged in to this forum, um, and we've done whatever, set a theme or whatever we do, and now we can use this cookie container in another HTTP web request. So what I'm going to do is just um, I'll just move this down and add another button. This is for the other request. Um, and what I'm going to do, what we're going to be doing is viewing our user control panel on the Zyvest forum. So, and this button is going to say um, view user CP and add a rich text box to get the response. Make them the same size. And with this button, this one um, sees the code when we have after you've logged in. We're going to make a new button and what that's going to do is set web browser one whoops web browser one the document text is rich pe rich text box two dot text now um there's I don't really need an explanation there that just sets the web browser one um source code if you want to call it that to um the contents of rich text box too and we'll just put that in C user CP code or whatever okay so now we're ready to create our HTTP web request if you double click this button view user CP that we just added all we're going to do is create a simple web request so declare request as HTTP web request equals direct cast and in brackets web request dot create and brackets again and this is going to be the link to the user CP inside these um, quotations right here so just leave that blank for now and then put a comma on HTTP web request now right in here we need to get the link of the page you want to visit so um, I'm going to take the user control panel that's um, somewhere I think that's it maybe looks a bit um, big for that but um, let's just see just take that off and yeah that should work so copy that and go back to the application and put that inside the quotations and now what we need to do is we need to set the cookie container to the cookie that cookie container that we declared up here so we called our web request um, request so we put request dot cookie container equals login cookie and that's because that is a cookie container that we declared up here so I hope you understand what's going on so far if you don't I'll just refresh you um, in this web request here we have set um, the value of login cookie to the cookie that we received when we or the cookie from this session when we logged in so now this cookie knows it says okay we've logged into this site as teach me computer or whatever username you're using and now that knows so we can do whatever user can do so now we've set that we just need to get the um, response and put that into the rich text box so declare response as HTTP web response <coughs> whoops equals direct cast request dot get response in um, two parentheses and then HTTP web response <coughs> okay now declare a stream reader name reader as new 
stream reader and in brackets response dot get response stream and then what why does it say file web response I should say response oh, I've spelt response wrong here so put there response there and yeah there we go and then finally we declare the the user cp as a string equals reader dot read to end now as a previous tutorial I didn't really explain what the response was that's because I thought it was pretty self explanatory and mostly because I only had like well as already like 25 minutes into the video and um, what we're doing here is declaring a web response which is the response that we get from the server and then we declare a stream reader to read it and then we just empty the contents of the stream reader into this string right here okay now the final thing we need to do is say rich text box two dot text equals the the user cp okay so that's it pretty much done right there um, all we have done there is we've m made it so when you click this button it makes a request with the user control panel page and when you click this button it sets the contents of rich text box 2 which is the response we get to web browser 1 so um, let's just view this and let's say we want to view the user cp and well, we haven't logged in yet but let's just see what it says for that it should say like error or something I don't know I haven't tried it yet um, when we try and do that it tells us to sign in because we haven't signed in we can't view that but let's say we log in first first make request and now we have that cookie called login cookie saved in this application and it's saying okay login cookie says you've logged into this website as teach me computer and you can now view member things so now if we click this where we set our request um, dot cookie container to login cookie we've just got this n fresh um, user cp response so now if we see see user cp code we can now see the user control panel for this account so that's basically how it works um, if you have any questions about this then um, just leave a comment or send me a PM I've got like hundreds of PMs right now but I'm trying to respond to them all um, so I'm not ignoring anyone don't worry about that I'm just got a lot of stuff to do right now um, so basically that's it when you're creating a request all you do is set the cookie container to um, the cookie container that you declared globally and that you use to log in with and then you can basically do anything with that cookie okay so um, thank you for watching this tutorial and um, I'm glad you watched it um, as I said any questions just hit drop a comment um, please like the video to help me get more views subscribe to the channel and tell your friends to subscribe all that shit um, peace out see you later oh and also check the website for this source code if you think you've got it wrong it'll all be there